Alrighty guys, haven't done a tutorial video on this channel in a while, so let's go ahead and do this. I'm trying to make this video under three minutes, or maybe three minutes. So, okay, you're making an intro. It might be 10, 15 seconds long, or maybe even longer. Um, it just might be a clip of the video that you want to do. And I had the same problem. I'm figuring I'll make a video about this, how to cut, this is the title of the video. How to cut a song in iTunes. Now you can also do this in GarageBand, but you can also do it in iTunes. Now how I did it was you gotta get iTunes open, and I've got a uh, song here. It's made by Diplo, and um, what you do is the song is three minutes and fifty-two seconds. Okay, and I just made a little, little clip it and I move, and this will work on PCs too. Um, you just have to have a different editing software because iTunes is on uh, Windows as well. So um, I just got four clips here. Each clip is four seconds long. So it matters how long your intro is. Most intros is ten seconds long, nine seconds. But I just got twelve seconds right here. So what you want to do is find the part in the song that you want. Um, I'm trying to turn this analog. It's gonna be real loud. Find the part in the song that you want. Now, as you see, it's already set to um, what is it set to? It's already set to 13 seconds. So um, I already cut some, but I'll show you how to undo that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to go in the song, go into albums, find the song in the album section. I'm not sure if it has to be in albums. I'm pretty sure you could just do in the song section. So what you want to do is right click. On the song, right click, get info. Now you'll be going to summary. It'll tell you the kind, the size, and the format, and all just general information about the song. What you want to do is go to options, now options. You want to leave all this other stuff alone. Just go to start time, stop sign, stop time. Uncheck this, and let's just go to 12 seconds. So. Let's just for the video uh, purpose. Let's just go to start at um, zero, zero. Let's just start at zero and then start it at zero twelve. Well, that's right. And then, as you see, nothing happened. Okay, now how do you fix that? Uh, you'll just have the regular song. But what you want to do is right click on the song again, create AAC version. Create it. And as you see there, guys, you've got a 12 second clip of the song right there. And you can just start out the song anywhere on the song you can put it. So if it starts at, the song is 3 minutes and 52 seconds long so if you want to start at 254 and stop it at I know anytime you want to stop it you can so this I just done it to start 12 seconds so once you got that you can just go ahead and throw it in your intro so you got it right here on iTunes boom start it right here and as you see here's your intro can be any kind of intro it doesn't matter and then as you see it goes right over the 12 seconds of the footage I hear and there you go there you go guys that easy and it'll continue going until the whatever time you stop the song so there you go quick little tutorial it kind of uh, got me kind of wondering how did I do this you don't have to go through garage band you can but this is a much easier solution now, once you open iTunes back up, it will, if you play the original song, it will start at the beginning and don't stop. It'll just give it 12 seconds, but it'd be the, it's actually the original song, but you're having both songs here. How to change it, just go in the original song, click on the original song, not the cut song. Original song, get info, go to options, and then just, um, well, both of these be checked most likely. So just uncheck. The reason start wasn't checked because I started at zero. But both of these will be checked. Uncheck both of them. 
push OK, and then original song should be playing now. As you see, it's three minutes and 52 seconds long. So, there you go, guys. That's a quick little tutorial. I hope it's quick. I have no clue how far I'm going here, but that's just that's just how you do it. So, it took me a little while to understand how to do that, but you can actually cut songs in iTunes, which is pretty cool, and then you can implement that cut song into iMovie, into your intro. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm going to start making more tutorials uh, on this channel. Maybe y'all some y'all know this, maybe something, maybe I'll help someone out, and I'll catch you, my, catch you guys in the next video. See you.